What's up? Joshua Casper here. Welcome to another Max for Live video tutorial for beginners. Um, we just did the simple time delay device, which looks like this. It had a delay time knob, it had a feedback knob, and it had a dry wet knob. And this can be useful sometimes, but I think more often, to, more often than not, I usually want some sync to delay. So I figured the next device we might make is essentially the same device, but instead of a time delay, we're going to use these sync buttons here. And um, uh, it came out pretty, pretty dope. Go ahead and listen. So as you can see, the uh, delay is synced up to the tempo, and the way it's working out is no matter what the tempo of the project is, the patch inside of Max will talk to it. Um, and if we open up Max, and this is uh, the version 1, you can see this is the routing system here. And if I open up the version 2 now and look at the routing system, you can see that it is exactly the same, except from I took the time and I replaced it with a live tab here and then I put in the patcher of the time which is going to be doing some math inside of it to um, to give us the sync delay so we're going to spend most of the time inside of that time patch but um, it shouldn't take us too long if you haven't or didn't follow along with that first tutorial you should go do that first obviously first get it and um, to learn a little bit more about the system and then you know come in and just change it out and save both uh, patches because we're going to continue to add to this I'm going to add uh, both delay time and sync delay time and we're going to have a toggle switch to toggle in and out of them and then in the future we're going to add a left and a right channel so we can manipulate the left and the right differently um, to have a, a lot more control. But for this one, we're just going to make this time uh, delay synced. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to delete this out of here. And go ahead and follow along with that tutorial if you haven't already. If you have or you just want to go download the patch, obviously links below. But we want to open up the version 1 inside of Max. So this is what we have. I'm going to unfreeze it. And I'm going to come in and save as, and you should do the same, version 2, uh, and call it synced delay. I'm going to title mine test because um, I already have a version 2 in there, and this is just for the tutorial, obviously, but you want to title yours something like synced delay. Uh, it's very simple delay, v uh, version 2. Okay, I'm going to title mine test, but whatever. Title it what you want. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and hit N and hit live dot tab to get this user interface. I'm going to hit inspector. I'm going to come down and update. I'm going to turn this to zero. That's cool. Uh, range number, I'm going to title one space, two space, three space, four space, five space, six space, eight space, sixteen. Sweet. And you can see that's updated that here. Um, you can title it if you want. I'm not going to just to save time, but obviously uh, if you follow along before, you know, scripting name. Uh, if you, by the way, if you um, title the scripting name and then you click the linked scripting name, it will change the long name for you. That's what that linking button does. Um, I'm going to close out of here. And the next thing I'm going to do is delete this delay time. I'm going to highlight these bad boys and bring them over to give us some more room to work. Cool. And then I'm going to bring this bad boy in here. Right click and say add to presentation. Cool. Um, then I'm going to go to presentation and I'm going to bring it over. Bring these knobs over. You can put them at the... I'm actually going to put it on the top this time. And I'm going to drag, take right here and just drag down to give them the two rows there. That's the pretty standard looking thing right there. That looks good. All lined up. Beautiful. 
come back in. Uh, you don't have to worry about it because it doesn't look right here because when you go to uh, presentation mode, it's going to work right for you. And now that we've set that up, the best thing to do is come in and save just so we can keep working here. And you can see that it's updated that. And that's because um, we've already done our patch inspector open and presentation. But again, if you follow along with that last one, you know that. So now it's the tricky part. We're going to come in and hit N, P, and then time. And this is going to have a sub patch. And it's going to open up a new window for us. And this is where we have to put in the maths that are going to tell um, the program how to sync the delay time. So the first thing we're going to do is type N, inlet, because we need an inlet. And this is where the audio from this patch will come in. The next thing we're going to do is hit N and then hit number. Beautiful. And this is going to take whichever number our patch is on here. So it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 16. And then we're going to come down here and say N pack. We're going to type in 1 and then 125. And that's a 16th note. And Ableton knows that. You don't have to worry about it. Hit enter. Line it up. Pull it over a little bit because we're going to be coming up to. And then below that, we're going to hit N. Multiply. Oops. 125 dot. Again, that's the 16th note. We're going to, so we're going to multiply which, whatever number we get here by however many 16ths we need to go. And then below that, N flow number. Sweet. Put that below there. And then Alt, hold down Alt, click and drag, and bring that above here. We need a flow number up there as well. The next thing we're going to do is below that, hit N and hit Outlet. There she is. And then just go ahead and connect all of these. So connect it. Connect it. Connect it. Connect it. Connect it. So now that that's connected, the next thing we're going to do is come up here and hit N, and we have to translate. Oops. Translate. And we want to translate the note value in milliseconds. Note value MS, milliseconds. Did I spell it right? It seems to note values, milliseconds. There we go. And live knows what those codes mean. Those are uh, scripting language codes. And live knows what that means. And then we're going to come up and load bang. And um, there are tutorials already out there on load bang and what it is. Um, and I'll be doing some in the future. But for now, just type it in. And let's just keep moving forward. Connect everything. Boom. And that should be it. So hopefully it is. Um, I'm just going to lock it down. And save. Come out. And now we need to run the grid to the expression, the expression to the tape out. And that should be it, guys. Uh, I'm going to close this. I'm going to save. Looks good. And close this and come in, and hopefully uh, it will work. I'm going to turn it on, obviously. Turn up the dry, turn up the wet, and fingers crossed. Yep. Boom! It works. That's what we wanted to do. Now we have, we took that version one very quickly, added a time patch to sync it up, and now we have the syncer here. So uh, I hope that helped. Go download those source files if you haven't already. Um, it's got a picture of the time patch and a picture of the actual uh, patch routing system. So if you uh, if I went too fast or anything or you want to double check or you're running into problems, that's a good place to start. Uh, all my source files will also contain the devices themselves so you can go in and look and hopefully you'll be able to uh, figure out where your problem was if you have one. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.